and liftoff at dawn, the dawn of Orion in a new era of American space exploration. Let's go. What's up? It's Gladiator here, coming at you with another Star Atlas video. I'm here to tell you today about why your game sucks. And I'll tell you why it sucks, because you're not making any money. I can almost guarantee you the game you're playing right now, you are paying to play. You're not earning anything. You're not making any type of return on your time. Your valuable time that you spend in the game, that you enjoy, that you get benefit from as far as it brings you some type of joy in order to play those games. But how about if you could add that joy that you feel while conquering that next level to conquering that next $100? And what we're talking about today is play to earn games like Star Atlas. Star Atlas is a play to earn game designed from the beginning with high dollars being invested right now into it, into the metaverse, into the next generation of gaming. So what we have here from Blockchain Council is parallel gaming universes. Blockchain enables the gamers to create their characters and use them in different games having entwined environment with the help of this information. We can figure out the gamers preferences and create more tailored experience. Now they're already doing that with haptic feedback um, in your PS5s and your um, Xboxes. There, there are getting some type of you know uh, information from you as a player about what makes you excited, what what uh, gets your blood pumping, what raises your heart heartbeat. Um, they use that information to tailor their games and to you know recommend certain video games and genres to you. Now I'll tell you what gets my heart pumping and what makes me sweaty is when you're playing. And if you beat that um, boss, that next boss, it's worth 150, 200, 300, 400, 4,000. Yeah, that's right, I said it. 10,000. If you take down a capital ship in Star Atlas, it could be a possible $10,000 return or more. Um, we're talking big dollars here. So could you imagine you and your buddy sitting around, you guys all gathered together. Or, you know, on a Saturday at your own houses, you don't even have to get together, right? I'm talking gathering virtually within your game. You, you get your normal team together. You get your normal group, player group, and you go play, have fun, destroy, and make big bucks while you're doing it. Mind-blowing, isn't it? So another thing that blockchain games can do is increase the value of gaming items. So when it comes to increasing the value of virtual games, blockchains can improve the helpful in the following ways it can prove to be helpful in the following ways so think about your skins okay first and foremost all the skins you have in fortnite all the skins you have in call of duty all the um gun skins all the player skins all the helmets all the equipment all the all the uh vehicle skins the vehicles themselves everything that you have earned paid for accomplished to get that um, special unlimited skin by you know finding and unlocking a series of events through through the game that uh, you know varies on dif difficulty level to achieve the ultimate skin. Well, instead of just being able to brag to your buddies like, "Yeah, I got the uh, black horse in in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2," you can say, "Hey, you can brag to your buddies like, "Hey, I got that black horse in Red Dead Redemption 2," <clears throat> and uh, I made four thousand bucks on it. Because that's what you'd be saying if you're playing Star Atlas. You might be, you might get that uh, very rare ship that um, is like the Black Horse and be able to take that ship over, but the theory crafting here, or take over those resources and score that four thousand dollar hit, theoretical hit. Um, so it, what you can also do with blockchain games is it can bring you safe storage. So um, safe storage. Since all transactions or data in blockchain is encrypted using cryptography, when this feature is merged with gaming, it will ensure safe and secure storage of game products. Cryptography ensures that the information or the data is unalterable, unchangeable, and cannot be hacked. I had a comment making everything impenetrable. In simple words, it means that information of the virtual items are safe with the users. So I had a comment 
on one of the videos that I put out that uh, they were concerned about scammers within crypto, you know, cryptocurrencies. There's scammers everywhere. There's scammers in your iPhone. There's scammers on your uh, computer. There's scammers at every corner that you, you turn. You have to be aware of your environment. You have to keep your head on a swivel. If you're gut, trust your gut. If something doesn't feel right, it probably is it. Uh, you know, but it's saying right here that it's by design, this is designed to be very safe with your money and your assets. And it's very transparent about what's going on. Star Atlas is no different. Saving on payment processes. We all know that decentralized payment gateways allow the user to make payments in minimum time and with only a fraction of processing fees that users pay using their credit card. Interesting. When it comes to developers, they can save on merchant subscription fees and payment getaways. So this is just a little bit of why blockchain gaming is going to change the world of gaming. It's, it's going to change the face of how we look <clears throat> and interact with in the interface of our gaming module when now we can make money. Um, and potentially lose money, in-game money. Um, but as a new player, you also have the ability in Star Alice to jump in with five bucks, ten bucks. I mean, most normal video games nowadays are, uh, the good ones are $49.99, $59.99. You want to get the gold packs, you know, you're talking 80 89 you know, $79.99 type of entry fees. So to spend five or 10 bucks or 20 bucks to get into a game is nothing. And now think about spending five or 10 or 20 bucks and getting into a game that is going to pay you a return, a return on your time, a return on the investment of the ship that you, you purchased, a return on the resources you develop within the game. It's amazing. So imagine taking a $20 investment place in some time within the game and getting a $20 a month return month after month that you play that game. And then uh, that could just exponentially expand if you reinvest that $20 back at month after month. Eventually that $20 is going to increase because you have reinvested it in back into Star Atlas. Um, it's genius really. And it's a great way to look at games and open your mind to what is to come and that's the reason why I know the game you're playing right now sucks. This is Gladiator coming at you with another video. We'll see you next time.